Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Sustainable energy specialist BB Energy recently demonstrated its new concentrated solar thermal plant to media and ESCOM management at ESCOM's Rocheville Research and Development Site in Germiston. Skalk Berger reports. South African mining energy company BB Energy is determined to use the blazing African sun to generate heat for industrial processes used in mining, such as gold elution and absorption chilling. The company has commissioned its demonstration linear Fresnel concentrated solar thermal plant that uses the sun's energy to heat up pressurized water in tubes, which can be injected directly into industrial hot water or steam applications, either to reduce electricity consumption or replace electrically generated heat used in mining processes. BB Energy CEO Dr. Stephen Blum explains about the locally designed and made renewable energy plant. Most of our applications have come from the mining industry as a first position. But I believe there's lots of applications for process heat all over the industry. But right now we are focusing on uh, some gold mines where they use process heat in the Aleutian plant. And they have electrode bo boilers and electricity pro providing steam. And the idea is to put a, a field of these type of mirrors next to them, make the thermal heat from the mirrors when the sun's shining. When the sun's not shining, well then they'll draw the electricity. And it's really is simple. And um, we've got a number of bids out uh, for that and we're hoping to get some uh, return from, from our clients very soon. We've also managed to secure some Eskim IDM funding to support those three projects I mentioned. The idea is you use solar power like this as a supplementation to what the coal, the coal um, boilers are doing. And um, to make that happen, we need to be running this thing at a slightly higher temperature. Our tests have showed us that we can achieve those temperatures, but we've been a bit constrained with pressure ratings of our, of our, of our fittings. So our next test is going to be with um, probably on a mine, and it's going to move up to a much higher temperature level, which will then allow us to compete in that space for the um, power station augmentation. And that, I believe, is a huge market. Dr. Bloom adds that there are a number of industrial applications that can use the heat from a solar thermal plant. Now, one is desalination. It really is a clever way to desalinate using the sun's energy. Another one is you can drive refrigeration. Other news making headlines this week. A report reveals that South African companies face water-related risks and the newly streamlined Lafarge South Africa hopes to build solutions from its product lines. South African companies seem to be particularly exposed to water-related risks, with 71% of respondents in the Carbon Disclosure Project's Water Disclosure Report 2012 indicating that they've experienced financially material water-related impacts. South African companies are particularly exposed to water-related risks. Interestingly, all but two of the companies, 93% of the respondents, reported financially material exposure to water-related risks. This is up from 85% in 2011 and substantially more than the global 500 response, uh, um, which is 63%. The second um, high-level finding is that I think we're seeing evidence of greater awareness and an improved governance response uh, amongst the responding companies to water-related risks. Global Cement, ReadyMix and aggregate company Lafarge reorganized last year to transform from its previous product line focus to a country-based organization, strongly focused on local markets and customers. Today we are launching our new positioning, which is building better cities. Uh, we have decided to organize ourselves uh, as a country uh, to propose solutions to building better cities. And for that, we will obviously use our different product lines, be it cement, ready mix, aggregates, plasterboard and ash. So these products, uh, they are used to, to uh, build solutions such uh, concrete with high strengths or easy to use or uh, allowing water to go through. And this offer we will propose to the architect and to the owner of the, of the building. And with them in partnership, we will see how it can contribute to build, uh, building better cities. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy.